hi guys in this step-by-step -step video i'm going to be showing you exactly how you can um like import products from any website to your own shopify store okay you can import products for example from another shopify store or you can import products from amazon or aliexpress or any website you can find online you can easily import products to your own shopify store okay now what you guys need to do i'm going to show you exactly how you can do this it's very easy and quick all you need to do guys you just need to click on settings you just need to log in into your shopify store and on your like on your shopify dashboard click on settings at the very bottom left okay now after that you want to click on apps and sales channels and you want to click on shopify app store in the top right now after that what you guys need to do next you just need to download an app that will help you guys import products from any website it's called robo now keep in mind this this is not a free app okay it only has a free trial which is seven days now you can try it for free right now and see if it works for you and after seven days you will have to pay a small fee each month okay click on that app it's called the robo product importer click on install all right now after guys you click on install click again on install And it will take you guys to the homepage of robo uh, app okay now what you guys need to do you just need to download this extension as you can see it says here install our free chrome extension click on git extension here and then click on add to chrome click again on add extension and in the top guys you just need to pin the extension in the top okay click on this extensions button here or icon and then click on this uh, pencil or whatever they call it click on it so that you can pin this in the top all right now as you can see you can see here the extension in the top right now now what you guys need to do you want to go to any website like i said it can be another shopify website it can be aliexpress it can be any e-commerce website or any website like it could be your own website just go to that website i'm going for example to go to aliexpress as an example all right now i'm going to search for a random product right now this one now what what you need to do guys to import for example you are on your shopify website on your uh, like open the, the products okay you will have to open the products on the website like if you if you have like a website and you want to import products from your website to your own shopify store just open the product make sure the product uh, like on the product page okay and then what you need to do after you are on the product page like after you see here your product click on robo in the top okay click on it and click on add to shopify all right now after you guys you click on add to shopify you then can you can like change the price if you want for example you can change the price uh you can change the description before you can publish this to your own shopify images if you click on images and click on select all images if you want to select all these images and like i said you can make some changes as, as you want and after that click on import and click on add product to shopify and this exact product is going to be imported to your own shopify store okay now i'm going to go to my own shopify store right now as you can see i'm going to click on products it's not imported yet just wait for it as you can see here it will take a few seconds okay 10 seconds as you can see this product has been imported now i'm going to go back to my own shopify store and i'm going to click on products as you can see this is the product it has been successfully imported to my own shopify store as you can see here this is the description of the product like i said you can always make some changes to, to the product page you can always change like the title you can change anything you want inside your own shopify store just click on the text or the title and then it will allow you guys to change the the like uh, the title and the description you can make some changes and then click on save after you are finished so if, hopefully this video guys helped you if you need any help let me know in the comments i reply to every single comment uh, just let me know in the comments i will reply to you guys and drop a like if this video helped you. See you guys in the next video.